guys good to have you all back hope you all had a fantastic weekend we're doing mass make march on a monday yeah i have a uh, small prototypes on my desk this project is not going to be as easy as the previous ones were also not as fast as the other ones but still it's such a fun project to do so i really want to share it with you guys we're going to have sort of a production line uh going on because you can actually mass make these okay let me first show you the prototype sort of the prototype um and tell you what supplies that i have used and i'm also going to give you some alternatives just in case you don't have what i am using I think I'm going to call them accordion pocket tags because it looks like a lovely tag. It is. It is a lovely tag. Yes, with a topper. Then you open her up like so and actually has these on the inside. Great, right? Yes. How do you use them? Well, you put in lovely small bits and bobs um, in Happy Mail. Yes, as a gift or, you know, small whatever, whatever, have as a gift. Also, put it in a pocket in your journal or make it into a pocket um, in your journal. Yes, just glue it on, you know, uh, two sides here as a sort of a tuck spot. And then you can open her up, uh, have all sorts of lovely ephemera pieces in that you can use in your journal and bonus pocket so that is why i'm not decorating the backs of these i'm just decorating the fronts but if you're gonna give them decorate the backs as well this is just a simple collage so accordion pocket tags very very fun you can make them as big or small as you want now this looks very fancy it is but they don't need to be this fancy so let me show you um the supplies that i'm using for today and tell you what you can um use if you don't have my fancy fancy stuff let me start with the papers for the inside for the actual pockets i am using book pages this is actually from a very old uh, britannica dictionary i have a big big book um they're thinner papers so you can use thinner papers if you're just starting out love is i uh, use newspaper paper yeah or from a magazine or what have you because uh it's nice if you open it up you're going to see something on it um but it's going to be hidden most most of the time so no fancy fancy paper just you know book pages or whatever you have a lot of just copy paper whatever you want now for the outside you can use all sorts uh i have used on this one craft colored paper this is not even the real cardstock this is 120 grams it'll do it'll do lovies but you can also use normal um cardstock i have this this is double-sided doesn't need to be double-sided um i'm gonna use my tim holtz craft cardstock because i want to distress it and grungy i'm sorry guys i'm just up for something grungy and um tim holtzy and then you can use scrapbook paper or design paper doesn't need to be double-sided you can have it single-sided these are from mr holtz's backdrops volume one i accidentally have two of those so i need to use one up so i'm gonna use this now uh, how big do you need them i want strippies of this that are two and a half by eight two and a half by eight so if you have scraps two and a half by eight that's gonna work so that's what i'm gonna use for um well for the bases for decorating i don't know yet i have ideas but let's just see how uh, the mass making uh, goes now for the tools you can make these with very basic tools you need well you know scissors a ruler and a knife pencil for marking um, and glue um, when i started making these i didn't have art glitter glue i just used glue stick you can just use glue stick when i started making these i didn't have a scoreboard because i'm gonna use a scoreboard yeah to make a small spine you don't even need to make a spine just fold them in loves just fold them in it'll it'll do it'll do um, and for cutting my paper i'm using a paper trimmer yeah now uh how about this yes that's fancy smancy i'm gonna show you what i have used i have uh, this yeah it's a sort of a punch that makes a, a tack shape on the top yeah you don't need this now if you do want something like this uh, but you don't have to punch but you do have a die cut machine you might have um these oh my gosh yes guys i have not shown you uh, shown you this it's going to be in my whatsapp what's new next sunday uh it is from uh well do a thing it is kimidori dot es yes it is a pouch with uh magnetic sheets that you can store your dies in it's just fantastic it's a fantastic system i absolutely love it um before i had this punch i used uh, a tag shape 
do not cut out the whole tag just put it on the top uh, run it through your die cut machine just for two inches or so take it out again flip it to the other side i'm gonna show you with with this one because you need something on the top on this side and on the bottom as well but what if you don't have a die cut machine well make it just lovely maybe have a fancy border uh, punch make it fancy with a fancy border punch you can have them straight loves you can have them straight rounded corners or make it into a tag shape um using a template just a normal tag shape yeah but i have the fancy man stuff i just want to use it uh what else am i using well i am going to put on uh for sure a whole reinforcer not necessary at all I have my uh, small tin. I'm going to say it one more time. These are uh, from a die cut set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Whole reinforcement pack one and two. I have to answer this question a gazillion times in a week. <laughs> and uh, I want a, a small woolly on the top as a topper. But not necessary at all. For decorating. I don't know. I don't know. It's every man for himself. <laughs> decorate in any style that you love uh that you want lobbies uh i don't know i think i want to have something crunchy but i might change my mind okay is that it for the supplies yes i'm going to make a production line a love so i'm going to do uh, a lot off camera i'm going to show you what i'm going to do yes uh but repeating 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 that is going to be boring um so i'm going to do that by myself by myself let's start making some strippies I'm going to start with the outside but this yes the strips that i am going to make are two and a half inches by eight inches why um, just because i want to <laughs> no this um a punch the biggest setting is two and a half so i wanted them two and a half and i think eight is sort of a lovely uh, a lovely size yes it's sort of almost four here uh, but you can make them smaller bigger whatever you want uh lovies whatever you want so i'm making strippies of um two and a half by eight i have some uh craft colored well no some uh colored cardstock this is actually eight and a quarter so i'm going to take off i already measured it take off the quarter here yes and then i'm gonna cut two and a half yes i can cut two out of out of these so let's just I don't think I'm going to do two, but I'm not going to do two. No, 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 no. Um, this one, this is Tim Holt's backdrop. This is actually six by, was it six by ten? Six by ten. So I need to take off two inches. Guess what two inches I'm going to take off? This, because I want to use this somewhere else. And it's just two inches. So first I'm going to take off the two, because we don't want it to be... 10 but 8 and then i'm going to take off two and a half inches here line it up love line it up yes i might i think i'm gonna make another one because it's double-sided so another two and a half inches and uh see i already have three strippies and i have these and these so i'm going to make strippies same with these this was uh six by nine six by nine uh did i mark it yes here so i'm gonna take off an inch because we don't want this to be nine but eight and there you go keeping this because oh keeping all of it actually and then two and a half now if you don't have a, a cutting machine that's where the ruler and the knife and the pencil come in yes just cut strippies um i'm hoping this will work because this is really heavy stuff of two and a half by eight yes as many as you want as many as you want okay now for the inside papers i have all my strippies ready uh, I have 10 of them. That is a... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make 10. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try, guys. So 10 of them. Now, each of these needs to have three strippies. Well, three sort of pieces of 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches. I'm going to explain the measuring once I'm going to fold them. Because that will make more sense. So I need three of them by... Uh, multiply by 10 so i actually need 30 pieces of a five by five just start making one lobbies so i'm gonna use um this now my tr this trimmer doesn't go to uh five and a half sort of so i'm gonna put it to the edge i think this is almost five and a half 
It doesn't need to be exact, exact, lovies. No, no. Okay, there you go. Here's one. And here is the other one. Now, I, I am going to make them square because when I'm going to fold them and they're a little bit off, it's going to be confusing. So, let, let me do another one. I think this is now sort of five and a half. I think so. Let's have a quick um, look. Just the tiniest bit over. So, I'm going to snip off. Well, that is the tiniest bit. I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, by five and a half. Five and a half by five. And that's because my paper is yay big. Yeah? So, I'm going to make... Are you going to make 30 of these? Uh, well, I'm going to do the whole this whole pile. <laughs> I'm going to do this whole pile. So, make uh, of the thinner paper, guys. Book pages or... A magazine or a newspaper five and a half by five and a half if you're gonna do my measurements yeah now i also have 30 of these these are five and a half inches by five and a half inches i thought it was going to take me a long time but it's such thin paper so i could pile them up uh, like four or five at a time and then cut them so it was well done in a jiffy um and these are the off cuts i'm not gonna throw these out guys this is fantastic for um collaging backgrounds or what have you so i'm gonna keep these aside now i didn't read all of this but my eye just i just spotted one word and it is so so fun uh, so this is um a dictionary so it has definitions of words and the word the word of the day is gobbledygook gobbledygook now i've heard of the word and i know sort of what it means but i just love the definition it's Latinized expressions and meaningless cliches applied especially to the language of bureaucrats and professional politicians. So it's all gobbledygook. Because it is. Fantastic. Okay, you have two piles, yeah? I'm going to start with this pile. So I'm going to make tag shapes in here. Lovies, just snip, snip and do the same on the other side. But be sure that all the corners are the same. So use a template. I would recommend a template. Or just a corner rounder. Corner rounder. Or the lovely sort of border punch. Or have them straight. Or maybe you have this. What else? What's the other thing? Oh yes, uh, your die cut machine. Yeah, put your die on. Yes, run it through the machine. Not all the way through. Yeah, take it out. Flip it over. Put your die on run it through so you have a lovely blah 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 here and the blah 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 there they need to be the exact same um otherwise you it will not you will notice it you will notice it yeah uh so i'm gonna show you this i could also have made one and a half two or two and a half um inches um some of my paper is directional yes i am going to have the doesn't really matter doesn't really matter it's going to matter when we um, are gluing the pages in and doing the decorating. Here's one. And here is the other one. Uh, I do love this punch. It's really, really lovely. I don't use it enough. Enough. See? So now, yes, this works. Let me do another one. Because this is double-sided paper, I'm going to make one this side and one the other side of course i did sort of uh coordinate my papers um with one another oh this is the craft colored cardstock doesn't want to go because it's heavy duty stuff this is and there we go and this is the thinner one and it works fine loves yeah yeah okay i'm also gonna do the the scoring and the folding on these leds so i'm gonna make it they already look lovely i did this a couple of weeks ago for a belly band fantastic as a belly band or or what have you so most of the times i use it sort of on all the the two sides look at this okay i'm gonna do all of them Taking out my scoreboard. You don't need a scoreboard. I'm just going to make it fancy. But you can just fold them in. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I hope you were not following along with me in real time. Uh, because actually I think I want to do scoring before I do this. Because this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Because we 
uh, I've used this. I've taken off the tiniest bit on the top as well. So it's now not like an even number to score. So don't, don't do the scoring beforehand. We know that this is eight. Well, don't do the cutting before. I'm going to do the scoring beforehand. This is eight. Yes, these are eight. Which means the middle is four. But we want a spine that is a quarter inch. So if the middle is four, I'm going to score at three and three quarters. Well, no, three and seven eighths. And four and one eighth. Yes, so an eighth of an inch before four and an eighth of an inch after four. But again, lovies, not necessary at all. By all means... Shall I just fold these in? Well, I'm gonna just going to fold these in just to show you uh, how that works. So, here, oh yes, this is the very heavy, heavy, heavy paper. There you go. Yes, I'm going to make these with small little spines, but they don't need to have spines. I like them uh, with the spines. There we go. Here and here. Here. And the thinner one. I have two of the thinner ones. Yes, because why not? Yeah? And these I'm gonna just gonna fold in. You can also pinch them in. Yes. Line it up with the four. Don't fold them. Pinch them. And then do this. Mm. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I just prefer my mine to have uh, the small little spines. Just make them look, you know, more fancy. See? Then they do line up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Um, uh, let's see. This one is going to go on the outside. This on the inside. Yes. Lining them up. Yes. Pinching them here. Putting the pinch on... Well, let's say the four and then one and two one and two yes so that's what i'm going to do with the all of these just make a small little spine just looks nice and of course do the punching snipping or you could also do the snipping like so so you have the four corners all together yeah do whatever, lovies. So that's what we're going to do with all of them. And then we're going to do um, the folding. The folding and the gluing of these. I'm going to make the sort of the accordion pockets on the inside. Yes, we have the sort of piece of paper that are five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to fold them. And while I'm folding them, I think I can explain better why I made these five and a half by five and a half. Yes. Okay, I'm going to fold... It doesn't matter if you go this way or this way, lovies, because uh, it is uh, a square and you're not going to see the, the pages. I'm going to fold it up towards the center. Just fold it in. Yes, doesn't, you can also fold it up until here. It doesn't really matter, love. I'm going to do it towards the center. Have it straight. Now, I'm, I'm hoping you have a cutting mat or something that has some lines on it with some measuring, because that will help. I'm going to line it up. So that is, this is straight, this is an inch, this is an inch, and the dots, they sort of indicate half an inch, yeah? So you could also sort of measure it if you want to. Now, I'm not going to fold it in at two and a half inches. That is the exact size of the pocket. So this is two and a half inches. Remember, we made strips of two and a half inches. I want the pockets to be at the tiniest bit smaller, so they sort of, can you see, fall inside of the pocket, so the tiniest bit. So I'm going to fold this over. See, I see the dotted line here. These dots indicate that that is two and a half inches. And I'm going to fold it the tiniest bit above. Just the tiniest bit above. Yes, have it straight. I'm going to glue it right away. But I do recommend fold all of them first and then glue them. Now, you can use glue stick lovies. No, no worries at all. So why did I make them... Five and a half inches. If you're going to fold uh, them in, they do need a little bit of surface to glue on. Yeah? That's why I made them bigger. That's why I did not make them five. Because then you have do not have enough room to glue on. Ooh. Good morning, Art. Has a runny nose. There you go. Well, I also have a runny nose. I have the sniffles. There you go. 
So we have like this now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fold one straight away. I'm going to show you why I made this five and a half. Doesn't matter which way you fold them. Fold them this on the inside or on the outside. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to fold them up. Like so. So we made these five and a half. So this should be two and three quarters. Yes, because divide five and a half by two, you have two and three quarters. Now these are going to sit inside here. There you go. See, and they fit perfectly inside now. That's why I made them this size. Now you probably don't have this punch, so you can, you can actually make them taller. But here's the problem. If you make them taller, be sure to fold it the right way. A square you can fold this way, this way, this way. It's always the same. But if it is uh, five and a half inches by six, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult and you could make a uh, mistake. So I'm going to show you one more time, lobbies. Doesn't matter. I have it this way, this way, this way. It really, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to fold it in toward the center. Doesn't really need to be on the center because we're going to overlap it. It's no problem. I'm lining it up. Now, if you don't have uh, a mat with measurements, um, get a strip of tape. Yes. Cut it at the size that you want on your mat. And then you fold it or, or mark it or do whatever. I am very fortunate to have something like this. But I think most cutting mats have some sort of measurements on them. Now, we're not uh, measuring in inches. Just translate it to centimeters, lovies. I do get a lot of questions. Why are you not doing centimeters? Because you're Dutch, we do everything in centimeters. Yes, well, guess what? Every sort of tool that you use has inches on them. Inches, inches. The paper is in inches. The die cuts, everything is in inches, lovey. So get used to it. If you're a crafter, you need to use inches. There you go. I've, I've glued it on the wrong side. I need to glue it on the piece that overlaps. Yes, there we go. Oops. There we go. Do this with glue stick, lovies. No worries. I'm going to show you one more time with feeling. Towards the middle. Doesn't need to be the exact middle. Because it doesn't really matter. As long as it is straight. Yep. Fold it up. Sort of over here. You could also do this. Like, how big was this? How tall was this? I need this to be the same size. Yeah. Have them preferably all the same size. size. If they differ like a millimeter... It's okay, loves. It's okay. And again, use any paper that you want. I would not do this with heavy, heavy paper. No. Yeah? Okay. So, um, I would recommend fold, 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 fold. Glue, glue, glue. Yes, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come back because we need to sort of glue these together. Yeah? I'm going to show you how. 30 of them. I found the word jiffy. It was done in a jiffy. I think it took me 10 minutes. And also the word glue. So the gluing was done in a jiffy. Yeah, so I have 30 of them. Yeah? Okay. Um, here's what I'm doing. I need to sort of fold them up. You're going to fold them up. Doesn't really matter. This is the glued part. You can have the glue part on the inside or on the outside. No worries, lovey. Whatever you want. Just glue them up. Now, if you discover... That they are too tall for your tag thingy. Cut them to size. Cut them to size. Yes. So I'm going to glue three of them. Because we need three per tag thingy. You could also have four. I would do at least uh, two. At least two. One is going to be dumb. <laughs> so I'm going to do three. But by all means you can do four. Maybe even five. But then you need a, a bigger spine. So, I have three of them. Now, before I'm going to um, glue these together, let me show you. I made this one with all the pockets with just straight edges, just straight lines. Like this. Do it like this, lovies. Also, I have one that I made two years ago that I still love. It's in the archive somewhere. I don't, I don't, I can't, couldn't find it. And then I made these with... Um, uh, a decorative border punch. It was very, very lovely. So if you want to ma make them more fancy, do this. Uh, on this one, I rounded corners. And I also really like this effect. So that's what I am going to do. I'm sorry, loves. I'm going to round corners. But not necessary at all. Uh, I'm going to round them with seven. Seven. 
that is four. Well, okay, well, do seven then. See, because it's very thin paper, I'm doubling it up. There you go. So I'm going to make uh, before I glue them down. There you go. If you want to do inking, love, if you want to ink these, do this before you glue them all down. I am not going to bother myself with inking them. However, I will sort of ink and distress all the, let's call them the covers. Yeah. Okay. We need three. Take out your glue. This could be glue stick, loves. But do not be stingy on the glue stick because it needs a lots of glue. Okay, I'm just going to take one. First, I'm going to glue on the inside because I need to glue these together. But I'm not going to put glue on the outside. No, I'm going to glue in the middle. In the middle, yes, in the middle. That is the trick, lovies. In the middle. Okay. Folding them in. It's glued in the center. I'm going to do another one. Glue in the center. Yes. And the last one. And you can apply this, sort of this uh, harmonica, accordion, whatever you want to call it. I keep saying harmonica, I'm sorry, loves. Accordion thingy. Um, to all sorts of projects. This is such a fun way to make uh, pockets into something. Okay, we have three of them. Now, I'm going to take one. Putting glue again on the inside. On the middle. In the middle, not the outside. And I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up on the bottom. There you go. Putting this on here. Okay. Second layer. Now, we're going to put glue on this one as well. Again. Just in the middle. Lining this up as well. Now, as you can tell, maybe one is a little bit taller than the other one. or It doesn't matter, love. It's, it's if, if it is, well, it doesn't need to be like an inch bigger. They need to be sort of the same size. Yes, I'm going to let them dry. Okay, I'm going to glue this in one of them. In one of my um, lovely gonna do it in this um what i would recommend if you're going to decorate do something to the cover do this before you glue this in because it's going to be sort of bumpy and if you uh, let's for instance say you want to stamp on it it would be a little bit more difficult not a lot but a little bit more difficult now i already know on these i'll probably won't be doing a lot of decorating however i am going to distress it first i think that will work better um with the papers not in here i'm using scorched timber oh lovely already love it this will work just it's just convenient to do it uh before beforehand but again i would mass make i would make all of these first of these sort of three pouches three um sort of pockets glued together and then put them in. See, I'm not even going to bother with the inside. Okay. Um, this is going to be the front. It doesn't really matter what's the front and the back lobbies. Yeah? Going to open it up. These needs to need to fit in here. Yeah? And they do. They do lovely. Now, don't put glue all over. Again, just put glue in the center. Yes? In the center. Do not be stingy with the glue. Do not do, make a small strip, like a bigger strip, especially if you're using glue st uh, st uh, stick. Yeah? I'm going to line it up. This is the spine. Can you tell? This is the spine. I am going to line it just above the spine, the first line here. Yes, also enough room on both, edge, on both of the edges. Yes, so I glued it. It's the spine above it. Yeah, not in it. It would be weird. It would not close up. And then do the same on the other side. Just, you know, add glue, a strippy, like half an inch or something like it. And then I'm going to glue, glue this up. Now, be sure that your spine here is straight. Yes, if you're using a spine. If you're not using a spine, just fold it up. Yes, does everything line up? Yeah, I'm going to press it. Have it straight, love. Have it straight. These need to line up. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Do you want to see the magic? I'm going to show you the magic. 
this is the magic Ta -da! now if you're gonna glue them just you know shut um, on the sides you could do this but the the pockets won't open up this is because we glued everything in the center isn't it fantastic it looks just amazing right and have it with all sorts of paper like the colored papers or whatever make a rainbow by all means make a rainbow yeah cool i'm gonna show you one more time how we're gonna glue these together isn't that lovely i need to cover it up i know i am sorry i'm gonna cover it up um your three pieces glue in the center oh that doesn't even need to be all the way for first fold them up first fold them up love okay fold them up first already glued them fold them up first yes all of them I also want to round corners. I know, I also want to round the corners. Gluing. No, corner rounding first. One. Two. I'm not inking. This was already glued down, but that's quite all right. Yes. So, add glue in the middle. A little bit more glue than you would normally add because there's going to be sort of, well, not tension or pressure on it, but we're going to fold it open back, open back, open back, open. Yeah, so it needs more glue than we would normally use. In the center. Yes. Okay. Here's one. Glue in the center, lining this up, hoping everything is the same size. Yes, more glue. Lining it up again. I'm also not, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of decorating on this one. Again, a little bit of inking. I told you how much I love scorched timber, especially if you're doing something grungy. I just want to make the, the sort of edges of the paper disappear. Yes? Okay. Putting glue on, on one side, in the middle, like half an inch. Could have it a little bit wider, love, is no problem. I'm lining it up with the top part of the spine. Is it in the center? It is. Yes. Adding another strip of glue here. Fold it up. Be sure your spine is straight. And be sure the holes on the top also line up. There you go. Et voila. Let it dry first, love, before you uh, open, open it up. Especially if you're using glue, glue stick. Yes. Ta-da! Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot to do. So I'm going to do this. Yeah. My small little pockets are all ready. Yeah, so three of them just, you know, glued together just in the center. Guys, be sure, sometimes this happens, uh, if glue sort of seeps out on the top, they get stuck. So be sure uh, that they don't get, get stuck on, um, on the tops. So be a little bit careful with the gluing. And then all my sort of call them uh, the covers are done i've already glued these ones in yeah because this is um designed paper i love it i'm not gonna do a lot to it i'm just gonna add a label or a something to it um so that's why i already glued everything in i'm gonna do four different types of decorating this one with the grunging gonna grunge these up i'm gonna stamp on these and i'm gonna sort of collage on these just because I want to do four different sort of techniques. Now, if you're going to stamp on it, I would recommend it to not have the pockets already in. Because you want to have a flat surface, right? Yeah, so I'm not gluing anything in. But if you're a journal maker and you want to do mass making, making a stash, you don't know if you're going to stamp on it or you're going to collage on it or what have you. Here's my sort of tip for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to glue it in. Like so, just a strippy in the middle, 
Yes, also decide what is going to be your front or your back. Let's say this is going to be the front, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, if you have a preference, glue this on the back. All the way to this line and in the middle. There you go. Now, instead of already gluing this down, just leave it as is. Put it away if you want to use it. Take it out. Then you have a flat surface. Let's say you want to stamp on it. You can. You can stamp on it, yes? Just not on both sides of them. Uh, but if you're going to mass make them in advance for your journal, you can do this so you don't have to have two separate piles. Yeah? That's just, you know, an idea. Let's do let's do another one. Just glue them on one side. And then if you're done um, with decorating, glue the other side as well. Oh, why don't you? There we go. Let's have that in here. But I'm going to decorate them today. Well, at least I'm going to try. Yes, inked all around all of them except for these. I'm going to do the grungy ones first, guys. Because I'm going to use my um, grunge tool. What is this? A sanding disc. But you could also use an emery board, a nail file. So let us do some grunging. Yes. Oh. Um, this also works. I, this is the craft colored, uh, the craft cardstock from Mr. Holt. Yes, it works perfectly because if you sand it, sort of the, the color underneath will appear. Don't sand it all off, just you know, distress it, distress it. And it's, um, and it's a craft uh, color. Now, I also did this on a file folder that I had. And, and just try it out, try it out on any sort of cardstock. See what's underneath, if, this, if it works or not. I absolutely love it. Look, it already looks... Oh, that's black. I need to clean up my desk <laughs> if I'm done with this. Um, so I'm using a sanding disc. Great tip from a Dutchie, actually. What she did was she had a piece of uh, sanding paper, probably from her husband, in the shed. And she took out um, a circle punch. And she just punched small of the circles and uh, put a Velcro... Um, uh, on it so you can actually make your own sanding disc yes i'm gonna look in the shed if i have something similar uh but this also works let me show you with an emery board like a, a sort of paper nail file see also works perfectly perfectly so i am going to distress this a lot maybe i even like that emery board more yeah i just absolutely love it so I'm going to make them grungy, also going to, uh, well, ink them a little as well, and add something. Now, I know, guys, I took out my whole reinforcers. I'm going to use a lot of them, but guess what? Yes, I need, I need eyelets for these. I want, just want some hardware. Are you going to do both sides? No, I'm going to do a one side on this one, um, because I'll probably glue this on a page in a journal or on another project doesn't even need to let's say you're making a, a folio thingy um and then put glue this on it's gonna be so cute guys absolutely fantastic okay there you go and uh i'm taking my squash from there as well i'm not gonna do this no because it's already black enough but i'm gonna do a little bit around the edges just a little bit of smudging here and there I'm just going to do a little bit more distressing here. I want more distressing, please. Yeah. So on all the projects that I'm making today, I'm just going to decorate one side, guys. Um, because of time. Because of time reasons. What else do I want? Splatter stamping. Oh, I'm going to do it with uh, the scorch timber. Oh, you need to have something underneath. I need to have something underneath. Do I have a something? I do. A little bit of splatter stamping. Tiny bit here. I could try. <laughs> you could try. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's not going to work. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to do... Eyelets first. I have... A gold one in here and... Met gun metal black in here. Yes? Cool. 
also on the other side guys let me quickly do this you've seen me do this i struggle every time and then um add a little something i am thinking because this screams tim uh, tim holtz right so i'm gonna pick a piece of ephemera from tim from tim holtz and and put it on here the eyelets are in i picked out some stuff now here's what i did guys i did distress the back of this so i'll probably have this as sort of a stand let's call it a standalone so i'll put the eyelet in like so and like so but this one i am going to glue on a project so here's what i've done with the eyelet i put the lovely side on the inside and did some more distressing because this is gonna look like this why put or not put another eyelet on whatever you want love if you're gonna attach it as a pocket of course do not put glue here because we want to attach the lovely woolly as well and i already picked out some stuff now this is uh, some ephemera pieces from the halloween collection i'm not really a halloween type of girl but you know let's just try it i think this is amazing i really love this <laughs> and then this says um i think i'm gonna have this as stop no shake well before using and warning maybe habit forming something that you put in your eye i don't really know guys I did a sort of um, vintage photo then because it was a little bit too wide. I even took my splatter stamp and um, it had a little bit of ink left on it. And I just put my splatter stamp on it to make it age a little bit more. So, warning. Yes. Yeah, I also have two small little brats out. Because why, <laughs> because why not? I think I'm going to have them in here. There you go. I was thinking to snip off the ends, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Oops. I'm not going to poke in the eye. Of course, I'm not going to poke in the eye. I'm going to poke here and here. Hopefully that is sort of on the same line. Yes. I think this is going to look lovely. You don't even need to tape them because there are pockets over it. So no tape necessary. Yes, speaking of pockets, let us get our pockets. Glue just in the center. Starting on the back, is it on the inside? Yes, it is. More glue here. Careful on the top, lovies. Just, you know, don't put a lot of glue on the top of your project. Is it straight? Do they line up? Almost. Yes. There we go. Do we want a woolly? Oh, look. Yes. Cool, right? Do we want a woolly? We want a woolly. I'm thinking I'm going to add something uh, black to this. I have this. This came with some beads or something. It's really curly. Maybe, maybe I don't want to use it. I don't know. I'm going to try. It curls up. Yes, because it's been on there for a long time. And there we go. Oh, but that's actually quite all right. Oh, I like it. I even like it. Yes. Then for the black one, I've picked out um, three pieces. This sort of a almost field notes kind of thing. Again, put the splatter stamp on it and a little bit of um, scorched timber all around, of course. We're going to have this smack in the middle. Yeah. And then I have this with a tiny bit of red on here. Small little label. Over there. And a scary looking moth with um, a skull on it. There we go. Again, smack in the middle. Cool. But I'm thinking something um, maybe red for... Because there's a tiny bit of red in here. Yes, why not? Let's have some red. And there we go. Oh. Why not? Why not put this in first? Yes, that might be smart. Maybe put in what we want to put in. 
in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Yes, in the middle. And then. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Hang it up. Close it. Did it work? Let's check. It did. It's so cool. And have, you know, what you want in here. Well, small bits and bobs, labels, post systems, a small piece of ephemera, uh, snippets, or whatever, love. A little bit too big. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I do love it with a with a little pop of red. Yeah, grunge enough? No. <laughs> Needs a little bit more grunching here. Oh yes, love them, love them. Um, let's do uh these of Tim, Mr. Tim Holtz. Yes, let's do just the Tim Holtz ones first. They already have the pockets glued on the inside. I already picked out a couple of pieces of ephemera. I used the um, palette ephemera pack, the snippets, whatever. What was it called? Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's called something. I have it here. Palette ephemera pack. Palette ephemera pack. I do need some inking. I did not do the inking. Um, a vintage photo. Yes, so um, already inked all around it. I'm going to distress this a little bit more. So funny, there were sort of poster stamps in there, four of them. And this is actually my favorite Dutch queen. This is Juliana. <coughs> Sorry, when she was very, very young. So Mr. Holtz probably doesn't even know that that is Juliana. I have the real ones. <laughs> There we go. I'm just going to put on a label because the color went perfectly with this. And um, add a little bit more blue. So I might go look for uh, something blue as um, something here. Yeah. I'm going to do that later. Let's just, you know, first things first. I have one. I should have another one. Hello. Yes. Come out. There we go. Again. It fixed them with some vintage photo. The colors just went perfectly, but you know, that's Tim Holtz and that's Tim Holtz. So, yeah. Okay, it's gonna go on here. They don't need a lot, guys. Just, you know, add uh, something or, or not, because they're already really, really lovely. Did I ink this? Yes, you did, you did. Um, there you go, Queensland. One penny. What did we have in here? Surprise. I have two pieces. There we go. New York Brooklyn Bridge promenade. Not good if detached. So it's probably not good anymore. Too bad. Uh, oh, this needs way more distressing than just on the edges. And you do it this. There we go. Yes. And a splatter stamp. Also on the other piece. Sure. Yeah. Way better. Looks way better. Well, in my humble opinion. And there. It could be done. Could be done. But, but yeah, I had this piece out. So. And there. Yes, I'm going to put on whole reinforcers later. Let's first do this. Come out. What is that I have here? Plants of Virginia. This is way thinner than the other ones. Is it? Might not even be from this pack loss. Uh, the splatter stamping. There you go. Stop. <laughs> and, well, that doesn't show up at all. Because I had plants on here. And there. And here. Yeah? All, all, oh, I already love them. I'm going to pick out some hole reinforcers. And then some, some toppers. Found some hole reinforcers. There we go. Thought this was lovely. It's sort of a leaf, a maple leaf. And uh, there were some leaves on here. And it is green. So could this be any more perfect? No. Oops. Well, especially. We're going to drop it. There we go. 
yes i'm gonna put uh like a beautiful sort of jeans blue on uh, on it a little bit similar to the color blue that is in here just a normal classic round one and on this one another classic round one but then in the lovely darker green a little more there we go now by all means guys do the other side as well i am not going to because time <laughs> and uh, a beautiful sort of brown one brownish Yes, then I have just, these are just tiny snippety bits that I have in a, in a lovely jar. <laughs> like, you know, I have lots of those. And you can use them for this purpose. Just put something on. This was not in my jar, but I have this. Yes, it sort of mimics the color blue of the poster stamp. Then I have a tan color or a little bit sort of a brownish color. I did not have this color. But this works as well. And another green green one. With the with the design paper, they are so quick to make and they're so lovely. Too tall. There we go. See? Four more done. Yes, I have um, the one that we needed to stamp on. And then these, I have no clue. Maybe a little bit of a collage. Let's see. I already know I'm not going to make the hour deadline. But I don't care. I don't care. I just want to do something lovely. I want to stamp on these. Now, I have taken out French ads too. I have not used these yet. I love them so much. Um, but I know these are very sort of intricate, detailed um, stamps. And I've not used them before. So I'm going to use my stamp tool. But by all means, lovies, do any stamps that you have. Or, or decorate them in any other style. I am going to use my stamp tool. There we go. This goes here. This goes here. Um, I want to have... Oh, this is going to make noise. I'm sorry. Try to move it away from the camera. I'm going to have this one on here. Again, smack in the middle. Have it the right side up. That would be lovely. Yes. Over here. Now, these stamps are very sticky. So, it might um, stick to my paper. <laughs> Probably will. See? Yes. Sticks to my paper. Let's see. I'm going to sort of eyeball it. Which needs to be. I'm sorry. That's a little bit of Dutch. Why? Because I am hungry. Need to eat. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. Why are they so, why are they so sticky? Um, what are you going to do? Our scorched timber. Yes. Yes. I'm going to ink it uh, with um, this, this distress ink, not the oxide. I'm going to use the ink against my better judgment. But I actually like stamping way better with the first fine clear. But let's just try it. It could have sort of an aged look. Why not? It doesn't need to be crisp, crisp. But hopefully it'll work. So why am I using my stamp tool? Uh, because if it doesn't work straight away, then I could probably, hopefully, um, stamp it again. Oh, but it worked perfectly. Yes. It's just so cool. I'm going to do another one. However, I'm not going to use the scorched uh, timber anymore. No. No, love. Take out this. Taking out this. Another advertisement piece. Have it the right side up. I don't even know. Yes. In this way. Yep. Very sticky. They're very, very sticky. See the difference when I ink it up? Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> oh, 
oh, just too gorgeous. I want to do a little bit around, uh, guys. And I'm thinking, and I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to stamp it again. I'm going to make a sort of a mask and then put text over it. But that's going to be a lot of work. Uh, but I'm going to show you uh, when I'm finished with this. But I really want to do this. I was making one, guys, and I was like, why do I not show you how to do this? Um, it didn't work out perfectly, <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it again. Here's what I do. I just stamp the image one more time. Yes, on a regular piece of paper. I cut it out all around, like so. Put it on here. Yes. And then I'm going to stamp over it. Now, this really didn't work the first time, so I had to stamp it again. And then the paper moved the tiniest bit. For some reason, the bit here on the bottom did not want to stamp really well. I'm going to put on lots of ink. And I'm going to apply a lot of... Well, this needs to scooch up a little bit. Already know this is not in the right spot. Yes, that's better. I'm going to try it just once. So I'm pressing really, really hard. Now this part of the stamp, the stamp, by the way, is from Studio Light. It's a Dutch brand. It was script, scripty bit. Never use it, first time using it. Um, if the same thing happens, I don't know if it is the stamp or my tool or what have you, or, or me, could be me. Of course it's not me. No, it worked, it worked this time. See, now there's lots of lovely script all around but not on the image itself. So, masking. I love them, love them. I'm just gonna put, um, oh, actually what I'm gonna do is gonna put an, uh, an eyelet in and glue these on. You know by now how this works, right? I'm gonna glue these in, put an eyelet um, in and, um, and a woolly. Last two. Uh, I want to use some of the, the paper scraps that I have. So I want to make sort of a, a sort of tiny collage thingy. I don't know. Let's just try something. Let's just have a piece on here. I do want it to fit on there. Yes. And I'm going to use a rub-on. These are from 49 and Market. I don't even know uh, what series, this, what a sort of release this was anymore. But I just love them. They're sort of, you know, uh, well, they're mushrooms. But drawn in a certain way. I'm going to have this one on here. Or this. I'm going to have this. I'm just going to start at the bottom. I love the numbers um, all around them. I'm actually going to keep them there. Well, that's what I'm thinking. No. I'm going to take off these numbers. <laughs> going to use them. Yeah, I'm going to put them somewhere else. I'm going to put the numbers... Well, elsewhere. Elsewhere. There we go. I'm just going to cut these out. Uh, do I want to ink it? I think so my scorched timber out I also have my splatter stamp out so and we did this yes we just uh, glued it on one side yep now I'm hoping this paper is not too old for the rub-ons come on love been gluing all day. There we go. This is not and this is it is vintage paper, but it's not antique paper. So I'm hoping that it will work. And let's see. Oh, that's going to be cute. That is going to be really cute. Do I have a sticky? You don't need a sticky. You need a pencil. I just prefer the method with the pencil. The stickies. Well, you know, they do work. But I prefer pencil. And there we go. Did it work? Oh yeah, forgot, no nails. Put 
question is, will it stay on the paper? It will, yes. It's just a very old, brittle paper that this doesn't work on. Uh, because you rub so hard on the paper, the, the top part of the very old paper it sticks to the, <laughs> to the rub-on for sure. But it will leave the rest of the paper. Oh, yes. Very cute. We had numbers, right? Yeah. I'm just going to put this here. Very cool. Does it need a small label? I think it will. Small labels. There we go. Label box. Oh, these might even be my favorites. I was like, well, I'm going to, you know, do something with them and let's see. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I love them. Does that happen to you often? Well, yes, it does. Something small. That's not small, but I'm going to snip it. I'm going to make it small. See? Much smaller now. Does it need a little bit of inking? No. No, it's going to be fine. Oh, it's cool. It says here, detailed drawing. I'm not going to put it over detailed drawing. I'm going to put it over here. Oh, yes. I love it. There was another small little number, right? Somewhere. Please, small little number. Where are you? It's buried. Yes, you were screaming. It's probably here. Yeah. So, maybe there. And maybe some more splatter stamping. On the top. Yeah. And one more number. Are we going to put in an eyelet or are we going to put on a hole reinforcer? Let's see. Uh, maybe something with, with the green. Oh yes, for sure. For sure. Tweezers. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> I think I will have something very neutral in them. Ooh, or this. Or this. Not neutral at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Oh, cute. Very. Do you want to make another one? Yes. So, let's do another piece of paper. I'm going to rip it from this side. Yes, there we go. Splatter stamping as well. I'm just going to put this on there. And also distressing the piece of paper. Yes. What are we doing? Is this one too big? I think I want this one. Um, scissors. Scissors. I'm going to take the number 112. Oh, it says love this. Now, I do love this, but I do not like using those sorts of, you know, sayings. I'm just going to go somewhere else. 
There we go. So this is going to go here. The number 112 will probably go there. And then a cute little label. Yes. Yes. Perfect, perfect mundo. So we use this because it was lying about, and I think it will be quicker than the pencil. What I do like about the pencil is you know where you've been rubbing. <laughs> See? I did not know I was not rubbing here. Please work. Ooh, the paper it is getting stuck. I'm going to assist a little bit, yeah. So cool. Where's my number? 112. Yes, pencil trick. Pencil works way better. Well, for me it does. Yes. Small label. Oh my gosh, now I have to get my labels out again. I need to print out the tiny ones again. Oh. Yes. Do we have another green one? Probably do. Oh, do you want to no, we already put on a leaf, lovely. Um that's too green. I want it to be a lighter color. Do we have a light color green? Oh, let's do this one. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. And then we're doing this. And I have this sort of neutral piece. It's a little bit heavier. Oops. So I have to do it again. There we go. Oh, I love these. Yes, and then put in small stickers of mushrooms or labels. Perfect. I, I made 10. I am very proud of me. I made them 10. I'm going to clean everything up. That's going to take me a while. And then I'm going to show you the end result. Here they are all nicely in a row. I absolutely love them. Now I have done a video uh, on these before in the beginning of my channel. Almost two years ago. I made three of them. One of them was with poster stamps. And I absolutely love that one. So when I started this project I was like I'm not going to ever top that one. I think I did uh, because there are some in here that I absolutely love. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I cannot find that one. <laughs> it's archived somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I gifted it to someone. I'm going to link that video below, the original video where I made these. Now, be kind. Be kind. Uh, because I was starting out YouTube and um, um, well, I was a little bit different than what I do now. So uh, let me show you these. I like these. I don't love them. Well, compared to the other ones, if I just did this project, I was really happy. I would have been really happy with it. However, I did to sort of, sort of double stamp it, and you know, you cannot you cannot fix this. But I do like them. I because I absolutely love the stamps. I love the stamps. And then I was thinking these were going to be my least favorite ones. Guess what? They are my favorite ones. I absolutely adore them. Yes, it's just simple nature botanical for a, a fall journal or a mushroom journal or 
or just because they're lovely lovely and i was thinking uh, in advance that these were going to be my favorites and i absolutely love them i was in for a little bit of grunching we did some grunching and i really like them yes with some hardware in them fantastic and then the Tim Holtz ones. I have to admit, if you use Mr. Holtz's papers, you're already done. The papers are so, so beautiful. Just put a label or a post stamp on it and, and you're absolutely done. Now, guys, I've used lots of fancy stuff. Don't, you don't need the fancy stuff. Yes, just this. The ones that I love the best, just with craft colored paper, a piece of... Um, the book page and have a washi sticker on it or a fussy cut from an encyclopedia or just a lovely image see you don't need the fancy stuff it just has a normal hole reinforcer and a small piece of ribbon on the top but you know i love my tim holes that's it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed it now i have made 10 and it, we went a little over an hour i i need to be honest I have not been filming for an hour, of course, uh, because I did all the folding and the gluing and such um, off camera. I think I've spent all in all three hours on this with filming and pausing and such, maybe a little bit uh, more. But I'm sure you can make four or five of them within an hour. Easily, easily, especially if you're not going to do all the fancy smancy um, stuff with them. I'll be back again this Wednesday with another mass make project. I don't know exactly what yet, but I can tell you it's going to be very easy. Anyone can join in. I'm going to use minimal supplies, at least, at least for the basis. Uh, so I'm hoping that you can join me then. And please let me know if you make some of these. Maybe you make them lovely with uh, flowers and fairies and pink and blue. Um, tag me on Instagram if you are on Instagram. I would love to see what you can, uh, can come up with with this sort of project, yeah? Okay, guys, see you Wednesday. Be there. Okay, bye.